Dear Reverend Hawk, thank you so much for taking the time to do our wedding. It means the world to not only Jennifer and me, but also our families. Jennifer and I have been members of Central since childhood, and that is where we actually first met. I know many of you know this, but Curtis and I have known each other since we were young. Although I was around him constantly, I'll, I will always remember our first romantic interaction. I remember Jennifer when we were younger. She had big, thick glasses, and quite honestly, I most likely poked fun at her. I was known to pass notes to other girls at church on the prayer request pads. Most of those notes were received with a big smile, twinkle in the eye, and pink cheeks from blushing. I was sitting at church at age eight, mind you, sitting with only girls because boys were gross, dirty, and had a disease called cooties. Out of nowhere, a blonde-haired, green-eyed boy handed me a note. I privately opened it, and the note read, do you want to make out with me in the bell tower? <laughs> if this note was not bad enough, the only answers were yes or maybe. <laughs> With the confidence that only comes with a naive 10-year-old, I thought I was Mr. Suave and would sweep Jennifer off of her feet with my romantic note. I folded the piece of paper and passed it to her. She opened it, her jaw hit the floor, and I was about sure she was gonna stand up right then and there and slap me in the face. She instead took a pencil from the pew in front of her and jotted something down and handed the note back to me. I was completely appalled. First of all, who in the world makes out the bell tower at church? And church was going on at big time. <laughs> Second of all, how rude of him not to give me the choice to say no. <laughs> on the very bottom, in huge, bold letters, she wrote no and had a big circle around it. From that day on, I knew she was the feisty firecracker that I was looking for. What I have learned over the years is that illustrates one of Curtis's best qualities. He does not take no for the answer. <laughs> he is diligent and hardworking. He strives for the best of himself, our relationship, and the relationship with his family, my family, and his many friends. He has a way of making everyone feel like the most important person in the world and inspires so many, including myself, to be their best self. I am so honored to marry him tomorrow and spend the rest of my life on his team. Cheers! <laughs> Friends, we are gathered together in the sight of God to witness and bless and join together Curtis and Jennifer in Christian marriage. Jennifer and Curtis come to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. I went on to attend college in Dallas and in 2008 I received a phone call from my brother saying that he had run into Jennifer Berg at the airport and she was applying for jobs in Dallas and wanted to move after graduation. I honestly didn't know what to expect when Jennifer and I decided to attend happy hour one beautiful fall day in Dallas. When I saw her walking down the sidewalk towards me I was immediately taken aback and lost my breath. It was as if my entire existence and being was meant for that exact moment. I've heard the phrase over and over, when you know, you know. Well, Reverend Hawk, before I even said one word to Jennifer Berg after 10 plus years, I knew. I knew with every fiber in my being that I was going to marry that girl. The Jennifer I remembered from church was nothing like the elegant and classy young woman walking down the sidewalk towards me. And after talking to her for a few minutes, I realized the feisty firecracker characteristics from childhood had morphed into a confident, smart young woman who knows exactly what she wants in life and isn't going to settle for anything else. From that moment on, to me, it was just a matter of timing. Timing for us both to grow up some more, and timing for us both to be in a position where we were ready to commit to each other. I never lost faith. I knew that God had a master plan for Jennifer and me. I never doubted his plan and knew we would be together. Days run, nights fall away. See the lights guide me. They show me the way. Oh, oh, oh. Take my hand. Home. It's 
escape our fate and walk alone. I, Curtis. Take you, Jennifer. Take you, Jennifer. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Curtis, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Now that Jennifer and Curtis have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, I announce to you that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God hath joined together, let no one put asunder. Turn down the lights tonight. Since you and Curtis started dating, he has never been able to say your name without smiling. You are literally the glow in his life. That's why I'm so grateful they decided to marry you. With that, I'm deeply honored to welcome you to the family. Um, I don't have much advice to give you guys because I really have no experience to speak from. No matter how deep the arguments you two have, you take care of each other. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses. May your lives be full of love, health, and wealth, and may you have the time and wisdom to enjoy them all. May you both love each other forever and always through thick and thin. Congratulations to my new sister, Jennifer, and brother Curtis. And now, Curtis has a prayer card to give you. Yes! All right, you may kiss the bride. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Curtis Edenfield. All right. Jennifer is by far the single best thing that has ever happened to me, period. I'm constantly inspired by her willpower, dedication, big heart, and willing to put others first. She's made me a better man, and I wouldn't be where I am today personally, professionally, and spiritually without her. She is my everything. She is my rock. She is why I wake up in the morning and work so hard. I can't imagine my life any other way, and I constantly have to pinch myself because I can't believe how truly lucky I am. I believe that what it means to marry Jennifer, what it means to find your soulmate and life partner, is to emulate that love that God has for us to one individual. It is my purpose in life to love and treat Jennifer exactly how God has loved and treated us, unconditionally, immensely, and purely.